Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Majora's Arsenal. Today we're going to be talking about what actually killed Dracula. Um, so, I have a copy of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, he actually based the character Dracula on a real-life person called Vlad the Impaler, also known as Vlad Tepes in Romanian. Uh, Vlad the Impaler was a pretty ruthless ruler, um, ruled from about 1476 to about 1460, I mean, uh, 60 to 76, and uh, <clears throat> his preferred method of punishment was, in fact, impaling. Uh, he did this to, I believe, hundreds of thousands of people, um, and uh, it was quite effective. Um, ruled with an iron fist, uh, kept uh, Europe from being invaded. It was uh, a pretty effective leader, but very harsh. Um, He's got several castles in Romania, uh, Panari Fortress up on a mountaintop up in Transylvania is the, if I'm not mistaken, the only documented castle that he actually resided at. Um, it is in ruins now, but uh, it's quite pretty up there. Uh, you have a very, very good view. It's uh, extremely hard to get to, and uh, it was never conquered. The only thing that conquered it was an earthquake in the uh, 18th century. And uh, it's it's now in ruins, but uh, Castle Braun is what is commonly known as Dracula's castle. It really has nothing to do with him. I uh, don't think he ever really visited that castle, but uh, it's basically a tourist destination now. So, anyway, in the book, um, let's see where it says. Let's see. All right. Now, uh, <clears throat> Dracula is, uh, he's left England, he is on the way back up to his castle, and it says, by this time the gypsies seen themselves covered by the Winchesters, uh, the Americans had Winchesters and, uh, they were chasing Dracula, at the mercy of Lord Galdamine and Dr. Seward, had given in and made no further resistance. The sun was almost down on the mountaintops, and the shadows of the whole group fell upon the snow. I saw the count lying within the box upon the earth, some of which the root falling from the cart had scattered over him. He was deathly pale, just like a waxen image, and the red eyes glared with a horrible, vindictive look which I knew all too well. This is me and a harker speaking. As I looked, the eyes saw the sinking sun and the look of hate in them turned to triumph. So Dracula is almost about to wake up. But in the instant came the sweep and the flash of Jonathan's great knife, which was a cuckoo. I shrieked as I saw it shear through the throat, whilst at the same moment Mr. Morris's bowie knife plunged into the heart. So, Jonathan Harker uh, was known to have a cuckoo. Um, it is described in the book um, as a knife of the Gorkas. Uh, so it is, in fact, a cuckoo knife. That killed Count Dracula. The reason I say it killed Count Dracula is because it was mentioned first, and uh, yes, the Bowie knife uh, at the same instant was plunged into the Count's heart, but I'm going to go with the Kukri did it first, cut off his head, and uh, according to legend, cutting off the head or plunging a wooden stake or a knife through the heart of a vampire is what kills it. So. That is why you don't see much of Count Dracula anymore, is because uh, he was killed with a cougar. But uh, that is it. According to the 1897 uh, novel by Bram Stoker, a cougar is what killed Dracula. And in, uh, in real history, nobody really knows what happened to uh, Vlad the Impaler. Uh, they say that he died in battle, either killed by the Turks or by his own people. Uh, supposedly, his uh, remains were buried at a monastery in Romania. But uh, when they unearthed, the uh, supposed grave, all they found were horse bones. So, that leads one to believe is, uh, is he still alive somewhere, or is he, uh, body just never been accounted for? So, that is it. If you guys were wondering how Count Dracula was killed, he was killed with a cuckoo and a bowie knife. Both great knives. But, uh, appreciate you guys watching. I mean, that's, uh, one of my favorite books. Still reading on it though, but uh, figured I'd get to the end and share it with you guys. But.
stay tuned and I will see you all next time.